What is going on guys? Today I'm in Brooklyn and this is Dead Horse Bay right here. I'm gonna go check it out. Also known as Glass Bottle Beach. I just walked a little bit down. I already found a nice cool looking bottle. So yeah guys, the reason why it's called Dead Horse Bay is starting like 1850s to 1930s, like to get around it was a lot of horse and carriage and what would happen if the horses died? Around here there will be a couple plants, horse processing plants that will convert the horses to glue, fertilizers. So that whole operation was going here. And from like the 1930s around that area it kind of stopped and people were just driving cars more. So there wasn't that many horses, so that kind of stopped. And after that, it became a landfill. So we just reached the bay. And they say you can actually see horse bones or chunks of them on this beach. Because when they were processing them, after the bones were boiled and all that, like they would just dump them to the bay. Oh yeah, man, you can already see it. <laughs> a lot of junk on this bay. Hey, someone else is out here too. Yeah, I would say it definitely holds up to its name. Glass Bottle Beach. It's littered with it. Ooh, I like the way this one looks. That's a pretty cool looking one. What's that? Pretty sure this is a bone. Oh yeah, you already found one. You'll find a lot of bones just laying around here. Isn't that crazy from the horses they processed back then? It's kind of insane. This is like the weirdest beach I've ever been to. So there's some gems here. I feel like over the years, a lot of good stuff got taken. A lot of good treasures. This whole beach, just look at it. You are allowed to just walk on this beach, but you have to be very careful. Broken glass everywhere, not that safe. So wear the right shoes. I just look around. Pretty cool. There's a lot of interesting bottles around here. Like I feel like you would not find this like in the store today. Picked out a bottle from the ocean. It looks like it's got its own ecosystem in there. It's got like plants growing in there. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Yeah, so it's not even just glass that you can find here. A lot of like appliances and stuff. That right there looks like it's been from a washing machine. That maybe a refrigerator. So yeah, in the 1930s, this was a landfill that developed. And by like 1950, it started to like the erosion from the ocean will like eat away at the land. So yeah, this is kind of why it's a bad idea to put a landfill right next to the ocean. <laughs> erosion wears away at the land, and eventually the landfill, all the trash, kind of ends up in the ocean again and washes up ashore. It's just crazy, like they thought this was a good idea. But it's an interesting place. Pretty much what survived was like just glass and metal. That's pretty much what you see around here. Yeah, so we came at the perfect time. It's low tide. A lot of it is exposed. So yeah, guys, I figured I'd show you this. It's just so odd. A beach that's a landfill. It used to be a horse processing plant. Just very weird. Just very odd. Well, guys, so we got to head back. Make sure you subscribe. We're always going to adventures all the time. Make sure you give it a like. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this place. 
Is it trash? Is it treasure? All depends on how you look at it. Well, have a good one. Take it easy.